What's up, y'all? Today I'm going to be walking you through a Bulgarian split squat and the difference between a quad bias and a glute bias Bulgarian split squat. First things first, I like to take my shoes off because it helps keep me balanced. Supposedly, there's this trick that if you sit on the bench and you bring your leg out straight forward and then you stand up, which are the correct distance from the bench. Supposedly. The foot that rests on top of the bench should not be helping you with any part of the lift. It should just be resting. So I'm going to talk about quad bias split squat first. When it's quad biased, your knee and your ankle are going to be straight up and down. Your chest is going to be straight up and then you should be. So everything's straight. And again, that foot in the back should not be helping you at any part of the lift. So when we're talking glute bias, you're gonna have a slight hinge. Your upper body is gonna be slightly hinged forward and your knee is gonna come over your toes. Let me show you. See how my knee is coming over my toes? Depending on your positioning during your Bulgarian split squat, it's gonna determine where you feel it. So it's very important that you know the difference. 